just that picture should tell you enough. Try to get it to focus. Dead Ringer, Snake Eye Sight. You can see the dark color versus the raw metal. Now, I'm not sure if this was cracked or made this way. That's not a lot of metal to begin with. I contacted the company to see if they stand behind their product. Since it's Sunday, <clears throat> I probably won't hear nothing till tomorrow. But I don't know why they put it so far back or it's not connected to the fat part of the metal and I don't know why they gotta add so much in front too it's just way too thin now I didn't install these so I don't know if that was cracked when they hammered it on because you can see hammer marks and a punch most sight tools sight tool presses do not fit this sight. I've seen that was a problem. But if this was made out of real steel instead of whatever the hell that is or it's been half broke on that side <clears throat> I run Metrolite sights on all my guns. I bought this gun knowing that these sights might not do the job. I don't practice at 5 feet, 10 feet. What people say your normal gun battle will take place. I don't have to aim at 5 feet. If I have to pull my gun, it's point and shoot. At a human sized target at 5 feet, if you have to aim down your sights to hit that target, you probably shouldn't own a gun. That's my opinion on that. The gun, I shot steel case, brass case, 165, 180 grain, some hollow points, 105, 155. The gun functions flawless, tack driver. The Viridian laser, it was 70 degrees and sunny here today in Missouri. Which was a beautiful day to go shooting. Viridian laser at, I'd say, 15 yards. You could see it plain as day. I only got to shoot a little bit close range because the range was packed. I mean, packed with people. So, at 10 yards, where I first clicked the laser on, this thing's dead on. I'd be more concerned if I would have bought these sites, but I'm still going to see if they want to warrant to them. But as it's Sunday, Tuesday night, I'll have some True Glows or some Rapper Lights put on this. Uh, I will not <clears throat> trust something like this with my life. I can't give you an exact round count on this gun. To me, it was really dirty, but as far as finish wear, barrel wear, I'd say it probably just had a couple hundred rounds on it. I put 200 more rounds today. The sight broke on the third mag. So half, half the time I shot this pistol today, I was either trying to use the laser or shooting with no sights. I don't know if it's the 50 yard range, but uh, that's the second time in a row I had a part off one of my guns fly away. 
this time I'm shooting and I thought at first it was a case like it ejected like over the back of the gun for some reason and like fell on my hand and then as soon as I went to acquire the sight the sight wasn't there so this is what hit my hand about my wrist area and then it just fell on the table but something that thin not actually tool steel or something to me it looks like a like a pot metal like i don't think it's aluminum but it should not be it should be some kind of gun steel something if you're gonna go that thin that's pretty thin up close first mag was probably about five feet just drew it emptied a mag <clears throat> it was really 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 quick target acquisition very very good grouping for as fast as I was shooting uh, probably six inch group at five ten feet something somewhere around there and that was basically soon as soon as that front sight dot hit the middle of this, I was pulling the trigger as fast as as fast as it, I could do it. So up close and personal, if this thing would hold together, I would have recommended it. But if I can't trust my life with a firearm part, I can't recommend it to anybody else. This laser light combo, thing's incredible. Like, set it up, pull out of the holster, lasers on, at 10 or 15 yards, it was dead on. It, it actually held a lot better group than that sight at 5 to 10 feet. So, <clears throat> I moved to the 50, thinking I could see what kind of distance you could get with this sight. It's not even possible. Before it fell off, I got maybe half a mag I wasn't <clears throat> really bench resting like my gun I was shooting like normal speed basically where I thought it was lined up on target pull the trigger <clears throat> I shoot a lot of 25 50 even 100 yards with a pistol this pistol is plenty capable of doing that with normal sights my Repo Lights, True Gold, Tritium Night Sights, they just, you can actually get pinpoint distance. Where you can, you can hit a, basically 12 inch steel plate at 100 yards. As long as you do your job with the trigger pull, don't be jerking the gun around. Because if you're trying to shoot at 100 yards, and that gun moves just, just ever so slightly. You'd be like a foot, two feet off. Highly recommend the gun. <clears throat> the holster light combo, excellent. If this company warranties this product, I'll let you guys know. But even if they warranty it, how thin that is, and because this happened, I will be running True Glow Tritiums. Or Mepro lights on this from now on. As they're already ordered, they will be here Tuesday. When I get off work, I'll switch them out. The Snake Eyes Dead Ringer, or by Dead Ringer. This could have been a fluke. I haven't really did the research to see if this is a problem, but they should be able to handle the recoil of a 40 caliber easily well I figured I'd give you an after <clears throat> range report and stand up for our constitutional rights make sure you call email all your politicians if they're Nazi tyrannical politicians vote them out for now that's all we can do AR pistol <clears throat> ran flawless as usual.
there will be a <clears throat> video coming up on this because there's new muzzle brake. There's a bunch of upgrades going into that. Everything's just waiting on mail. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Take care.